Hi, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and this is Elgato Wave. Today, we launched the Elgato Wave 1 and Wave 3 microphone. These are our first foray into audio for content creation. They're USB condenser microphones that are part of the complete audio package, which I'll get into more in a little bit. But first, let's go over the two microphones. Now, looking at them, you'll see that they look very similar, and on the inside, they have a lot of similarities as well. Both are condenser-style microphones that connect to your computer via the included USB-C to USB cable, so they're both plug-and-play. Both feature a zero-latency headphone jack on the back, they both feature an internal pop filter to prevent plosive sounds from distorting your audio, and both microphones feature our ClipGuard technology, which essentially prevents your audio from ever peaking, even when you get heated and your volume gets really loud. They're both either usable on their own with the included desk stand, or you can connect them to a microphone arm. They're also compatible with all of our launch accessories, our anti-vibration shock mount, our external pop filter, and our desktop stand extension rods. Now, you might be asking, do I need an external pop filter if the Wave microphones have an internal pop filter already? Well, while the internal pop filter does allow our Wave microphones to prevent plosives better than most other microphones on the market, the external pop filter improves this performance even further. Be sure to check out our other video on our YouTube channel, which we've linked in the description panel down below, where we demonstrate the external pop filter with Wave microphones. Now, okay, there are a lot of similarities between these two microphones. What about the differences? First up is the dial on the front of the microphones. On the Wave 1, the dial serves two functions. It controls the volume of the headphone output, and if you press the dial in, it'll mute your microphone. Now, with the Wave 3, this is a multi-function dial, allowing you to control your microphone's gain, your headphone output volume, and your microphone PC monitor mix. In other words, the balance between hearing your zero latency mic monitoring and then the audio coming out of your PC. Now you cycle between these different controls by pressing in this dial. But if pressing in the dial changes the dial's function, how do you mute the Wave 3? Well, another difference is that the Wave 3 is equipped with a capacitive mute button found at the top of the microphone. So if you have to mute your stream, you can simply lightly touch the button and you're good to go. This is both helpful in preventing making noise to your stream when you mute your mic, and is also good for creatives who might have their hands full but still want to mute their mic. The last difference is the sample rate each mic supports. The Wave 1 supports up to 48 kHz audio, while Wave 3 can go all the way up to 96 kHz. Okay, now that that's settled, let's tackle the elephant in the room. Now obviously, we aren't the first microphones out there, so what's different about Elgato Wave compared to all the other mics that are already available? Well, in short, our mission with Elgato Wave is to be the complete audio solution for content creators. I like to think of Project Wave as a combination of microphone and an audio mixer all in one. So how is this possible? Well, it's possible through a super powerful Wavelink software. What Wavelink does is it acts as your digital audio mixer and takes in all of your different audio sources, both hardware and software, and allows you to independently control them all in one place via software faders. And you can create two different independent sound mixes from these audio sources, one for your stream and one for what you're listening to. Have you ever monitored your game audio in OBS to listen to your game, and then your chat says that the game audio is too loud? So you lower it, but then you have a tough time hearing your game. Now with Wavelink, you have two separate volume faders, so you can hear your game at the volume you want, and your chat can hear the game at the volume that they want. And our thought process behind Wavelink was, when you look at traditional audio mixers, you have to go through all of this effort to get the different audio sources plugged into the inputs of that mixer to gain that control. And when you have analog audio sources like this, you have to worry about the things like clean power or ground loops and a lot of other annoyances. But when you have a streaming setup in one way or another, all of your audio sources are in your computer, whether it's from USB connections or coming from the computer itself in software. So Wavelink simply is able to grab these different audio sources and allow you to control them all in one simple place. It's a simple concept, but ridiculously useful for streaming. So when you have all of your audio sources added, whenever you need to change the levels, you just use your mouse and then adjust the faders. Or for even easier control, you can use your Elgato Stream Deck to increase or decrease the volume, mute your sources, and more. Our thought here is that a ton of streamers are already using Stream Deck to control every other aspect of their stream, so enabling Stream Deck to control your audio through Wavelink truly makes it your one-stop shop for control. 
And when everything's available to be controlled in one place, it just makes things incredibly easy. So in short, this is why we think Elgato Wave is the complete audio package, and we hope you do too. The HyperX Quadcast is a full-featured standalone condenser mic. This quick start guide will help you get set up and started. The Quadcast has four selectable polar patterns, stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and bidirectional. Each of these patterns will change the direction from where the sound is picked up. If you're recording something with vocals or instruments that you want to output in two-channel stereo, then select the stereo setting. While in this mode, the Quadcast will record audio as a stereo image, so you can easily record stereo audio without needing a second microphone. Omnidirectional is the pattern to select if you want to record all the sound in the entire room. This is useful in settings like a conference call or a multi-person podcast. Cardioid is the best setting for a single audio source directly in front of the microphone. This setting would be used for things like single-person streaming and voiceovers, like this one. If you're recording a face-to-face -face interview, the bi-directional pattern will be the setting you want to use, since it captures sound from the front and back. The Quadcast has a convenient tap-to-mute sensor. Simply tap the top of the mic to mute it. The LED indicator makes it easy to tell whether you're muted. If the LED indicator is lit, the mic is active. If it's off, the mic is muted. Knowing your mic status will help prevent stream fails and other broadcast accidents. If you're coming in too soft or too loud, you can adjust the mic sensitivity on the Quadcast by adjusting the gain. To adjust the gain on the Quadcast, use the dial located at the bottom of the microphone. You can connect a headset to monitor your microphone output. Just plug a headset into the back of the Quadcast and you can hear what is being captured. The Quadcast comes with a 3 8 and 5 8 inch adapter that fits most mic arms. Remove the screw connecting the mic to the stand. Attach the mount adapter, and the Quadcast and its built-in shock mount can now be attached to the boom arm. Here at Rode, we've been making high-quality studio microphones for decades. And with the release of the NT-USB in 2014, we were able to bring Rode's world-renowned condenser microphone quality to a USB platform, proving that incredible audio quality doesn't need to be complicated or expensive. Today, we're super excited to reveal a new product that takes this idea to the next level, making studio quality sound more accessible than ever before. Introducing the NT-USB Mini. Everything about the NT-USB Mini has been designed with versatility, simplicity, and of course, great audio quality in mind. Like all of our microphones, this starts with the capsule and the electronics. The high quality condenser capsule in the NT-USB Mini has been tailored specifically to provide warmth and presence in your audio, meaning that it sounds amazing for capturing dialogue, but it also sounds great for music applications such as guitar, piano, or vocals basically anything that you can throw at it. It uses a directional cardioid polar pattern that's been optimized to pick up less of your room noise and more of what's directly in front of the microphone. The NT-USB Mini also features studio quality 24-bit 48 kilohertz analog to digital conversion, providing extremely low distortion and very high dynamic range to your recordings. The NT-USB Mini has also been designed to be highly immune to RF interference, so you wouldn't be troubled by any interference that might be coming from other electronic devices in your recording space. Setting it up is incredibly easy. All you need to do is connect it to a Mac or a PC with the included cable. And it's that simple. Once you've got it plugged in, you're ready to record. We've actually got it set up behind me here on a gaming PC, so let's go check it out. Now, aside from a set of headphones for monitoring your audio, no other equipment or cables will be necessary to start recording. And as you can hear, the result is professional sounding audio that's incredibly easy to set up and will sound great in a huge variety of situations. Whatever content you're creating, the NT-USB Mini will easily take your audio game to the next level. This incredible sound quality also extends to the high quality 3.5 mm headphone output on the rear of the NT-USB Mini. Controlled by the volume knob on the front of the microphone, this not only works as a studio grade headphone amplifier for your computer, but it also allows for zero latency monitoring of your audio while you're recording. 
By pressing in the volume knob on the front of the mic, the audio from your microphone will be sent directly to the connected headphones. This is especially handy if you're trying to record vocals or dialogue and you want to avoid having any distracting echo in your headphones. On top of its studio quality sound, the NT-USB Mini packs in a host of other features to help you simplify your setup. The unique detachable magnetic desk stand provides a sturdy base on any desktop and also makes the microphone incredibly easy to remove and attach to a microphone stand or studio arm like the compatible PSA1. This feature, as well as the unique 360 degree swing mount, means that you can position the microphone in the upright, sideways, or upside down positions, resulting in the perfect placement in any recording scenario. Hey everyone, I'm Ben from JLab Audio, and today I'm gonna to take you through some step-by-step -step guides and how-tos for our TACO USB microphone. TACO is super easy to set up, Going to come with a 5 8 attachment and a tripod stand. And then from there, just move this lever around to adjust it and the cable. The top go cable is a USB C to USB A. Plug into the bottom here. And then all you have to do is plug into your computer. And we're powered up. So we're going to walk through. Uh, the buttons and what they mean, what the directional patterns mean, and how to get you set up on your computer. When you first turn on the TACO, it's going to be in cardioid mode. So what that means is it's going to take uh, sound from only one direction. Uh, so that's going to be the side with the JLab logo. So when you're using the cardioid direction, you want to be speaking into the mic in this direction, right? Not here, not on the back side. Best to be speaking towards the JLab logo. Cardioid is great for things like voiceover, where you just want the mic to pick up your voice. The other directional pattern that you can use with the TACO is omnidirectional. That's great for things uh, in a group setting where you want to hear everybody, things like a conference call that you're all going to be around the phone. So that's picking up sound in every direction, omnidirectional. So to change from cardioid to omnidirectional, all you do is hold down the button on the bottom, and it will change to green, and that's how you know you are in the Omni setting. And to go back to Cardioid, again, just hold down the button, it'll go to blue, and you go back and forth. And then I can start a recording. And now I'm recording using my Taco microphone. And if you wanna change the directional pattern of the mic while you're using it, again, you just hold down the button. Now it's omnidirectional instead of Cardioid. I can go back, back in Cardioid, and again, if you want to quick mute, just push the button quick. And now there is no output coming from the microphone. The TACO works with Mac, Windows, even Linux. And that's all there is to the TACO USB microphone. Super easy to use, really convenient to take with you. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. We'll get them answered for you. <laughs>